In this final part 3 of a 3 part video series, I'll be covering all the best cyberware upgrades for the skeleton, the hands, the arms and the legs. First up we have two implant slots for the skeleton, and there's 7 specific skeletal implants available in the game, as follows. Micro Rotors, which increases melee attack speed by up to 25%. Synaptic Signal Optimizer, which increases max health by up to 60%. Bionic Lungs, which increases stamina by up to 60%. Titanium Bones, which increases carrying capacity by up to 60%. Micro Vibration Generator, which increases melee weapon damage by up to 15%. Bionic Joints, which reduces recoil of ranged weapons by up to 25%. And finally, Dense Marrow, which increases melee weapon damage by up to 25%, but also increases stamina drain by 10%. Heading over to Kabuki, which is a sub-district of Watson, the Ripper Dock, located directly south of the Creek Loop Fast Travel Terminal, will sell you the following notable skeleton implants. The legendary Micro Rotors, which increases melee attack speed by 25%. A no-brainer if your preferred method of dishing out the hurt is via direct physical contact. This upgrade requires reflexes attributes level 18, street cred level 14 and 14,000 eddies to purchase. The rare synaptic signal optimizer, which increases max health by 40%. This upgrade requires body attributes level 12 to install as well as 12,000 eddies to purchase. Heading over to Charter Hill, which is a sub-district of Westbrook, the Ripper Dock, located near the Luxury Apartments Fast Travel Terminal, will sell you the following notable skeleton cyberware implants. The legendary Synaptic Signal Optimizer, which increases max health by 60%. This upgrade requires body attributes level 20 to install, as well as 28,000 eddies to purchase. She also sells the epic version, which increases health by 50% instead of 60. But its requirements are also much lower, requiring body attributes level 15 to install, as well as 20,000 eddies to purchase. The legendary bionic lungs, which increases max stamina by 60%, a must for all melee weapon enthusiasts. This upgrade requires body attributes level 18, street cred level 29 and 7000 eddies to purchase. The rare micro vibration generator, which increases base damage of all melee weapons by 10%. This upgrade requires reflexes attributes level 12 to install as well as 15000 eddies to purchase. The epic micro rotors, which increases melee attack speed by 20%. This upgrade requires reflexes attributes level 15 to install, as well as 10,000 eddies to purchase. Travelling over to Well Springs, which is a sub-district of Haywood, the Ripper Dock, located near the pumping station fast travel terminal, will sell you the rare titanium bones, which increases carrying capacity by 60%, the biggest increase for a cyberware implant. This upgrade requires body attributes level 13 to install, as well as 3000 eddies to purchase. Heading over to West Wind Estate, which is a sub-district of Pacifica, the Ripper Dock, located near the West Wind Apartments Fast Travel Terminal, will sell you the uncommon titanium bones, which increases carrying capacity by 40%. This upgrade has no barrier to entry apart from its €1,500 Euro dollar price tag. Visiting Rancho Coronado, which is a sub-district of Santo Domingo, the Ripper Dock, located near the Rancho Coronado East Fast Travel Terminal, will sell you the uncommon Synaptic Signal Optimizer, which increases max health by 30%. This upgrade requires body attributes level 8 to install, as well as 6,000 eddies to purchase. Next up, we have a single implant slot for the hands, and there's two hand-specific implants available in the game, as follows. Ballistic Coprocessor, which greatly increases the ricochet potential when using power weapons. Higher qualities will increase the number of ricochets per shot. Our good old friend Victor installs the rare Ballistic Coprocessor hand cyberware near the start of the story. 
To visually preview the path of bullet trajectories while aiming power weapons, you'll need to first install the Trajectory Generator mod for your Kiroshi Optics Ocular System implant. If you browse Vic's store by clicking the Trade tab at the top of the screen when browsing his cyberware, you'll notice he sells the Trajectory Generator mod just mentioned, as well as all the other Kiroshi Optics mods available in the game. The second cyberware implant available for the hands is called Smart Link, which enables you to use the auto-targeting system built into all smart weapons. Higher qualities of the Smart Link will increase crit damage, as well as increase the chance for bullets to home in on targets. It's worth noting, after completing her side job named The Gig at the start of the game, Wakako the Fixer rewards you with a free Tiger Claw tattoo, which installs into the hands cyberware slot. This free tattoo offers the same effects as the rare quality SmartLink implant. Heading over to Little China in Watson, near the Bradbury and Baran fast travel terminal, our familiar Doc Victor will sell you the following notable hand cyberware implants. The rare Smart Link, which costs 9,000 eddies to purchase and install, enabling the auto targeting system of all smart weapons. The Epic Smart Link, which costs 15,000 eddies to purchase and install. This epic version increases bullet homing chance by 10%, as well as crit damage by 15%. The legendary Smart Link, which requires street cred level 11, as well as 21,000 eddies to purchase. This legendary version increases bullet homing chance by 15%, as well as crit damage by 25%. The Epic Ballistic Coprocessor, which costs 15,000 eddies to purchase and install. This Epic version causes power weapon bullets to ricochet one additional time. Heading back into Kabuki, which is a sub-district of Watson, the Ripper Dock located directly south of the Creek Loop fast travel terminal, down some metal scaffolding steps on the lower ground level, will sell you the legendary Ballistic Coprocessor for 21,000 eddies. This legendary version causes power weapon bullets to ricochet two additional times. Next up, we have a single implant slot for the arms, and there's four specific arm cyberware implants available in the game, as follows. Mantis blades, which are two deadly blades that attach to both arms, causing significant close-range damage. Higher qualities deal additional damage, as well as additional mod slots up to a maximum of three. Monowire, which is a long-range melee weapon that self-charges and can hit multiple enemies simultaneously. Higher qualities deal additional damage as well as additional mod slots up to a maximum of three. The monowire deals the most damage of all the arm cyberware, but feels the least impactful to use. Gorilla arms which turn your fists into powerful close range weapons. Hitting enemies builds a deadly charge which can be released with a strong attack. Higher qualities deal additional damage as well as additional mod slots up to a maximum of three. Since release, the devs increased the damage dealt from all Gorilla Arms by 20%, so are much more effective than before. Gorilla Arms are also the perfect companion for completing the fist fight questline named Beat on the Brat. And finally, the Projectile Launch System, which is a long-range missile launcher that deals significant damage. Higher qualities deal additional damage as well as additional mod slots up to a maximum of three. The projectile launcher is ideal for adding accurate long-range explosives to your arsenal that can deal various types of damage. One thing to note is that if you have the Smart Link hand cyberware equipped whilst using the projectile launcher, your missiles, just like smart weapon bullets, will also home in on nearby targets. However, due to the large area of effect of the projectile launcher, the Smart Link isn't really necessary. To purchase mods for any of your cyberware implants, make sure to click the trade tab at the top of the cyberware screen when visiting any of the 14 Ripper Docks available in the game. Remember, not all cyberware implants have available mod slots, which are clearly indicated by small circles displayed to the top left of each implant, as shown here. There's a total of four Ripper Docks in the game that will sell you all four armed cyberware implants at epic quality. These Ripper Docks can be found at the following locations. The Ripper Dock in Japantown, which is a sub-district of Westbrook, located near the Mega Building H8 Fast Travel Terminal, named Fingers, who you encounter during the main story.
The Ripadoc in West Wind Estate, which is a sub-district of Pacifica, located near the West Wind Apartments Fast Travel Terminal. The Ripadoc in Arroyo, which is a sub-district of Santo Domingo, located southwest of the Red Dirt Bar Fast Travel Terminal. The Ripadoc in Rancho Coronado, another sub-district of Santo Domingo, located near the Rancho Coronado East Fast Travel Terminal. And finally, the Aldicados Ripadoc, located in the Badlands, near the Mobile Camp Fast Travel Terminal. There's also two Ripper Docks in the game that will sell you all four armed cyberware implants at legendary quality. These Ripper Docks can be found at the following locations. The Ripper Dock in downtown, which is a sub-district of the city centre, located near the Skyline and Republic fast travel terminal. And finally, the Ripper Dock in Well Springs, which is a sub-district of Haywood, located near the Pumping Station Fast Travel Terminal. The remaining seven Ripper Docks in the game will sell you all four armed cyberware implants at the lowest rare quality, including our buddy Victor, located in Little China of Watson, near the Bradbury and Baran fast travel terminal. Finally, we have a single implant slot for the legs, and there's three specific leg cyberware implants available in the game, as follows. Reinforced tendons, which enables you to perform double jumps, an extremely useful ability to reach higher levels and explore the world with ease. Fortified ankles, which enables you to perform charge jumps by briefly holding down the jump button, then releasing. Charge jumps are slightly higher than double jumps, but don't cover as much distance. The epic version of the fortified ankles enables you to hover while in mid-air for a few seconds, as well as reducing all fall damage by 15%. The vertical jump is a little lower than the rare charged version, at around the same height as the double jump for the reinforced tendons. However, you can cover greater horizontal distance than either of those, when utilising its hover ability. Finally, we have the Lynx Paws, which reduces the noise you make from all movements by 50%, including running. Ideal for stealth-focused tacticians. Heading back over to Kabuki, which is a sub-district of Watson, the Ripper Dock, located to the southwest of the Kabuki Market Fast Travel Terminal, at the back of the Kabuki Market, will sell you the rare reinforced tendons, which enable the double jump, as well as the rare fortified ankles, which enable the charge jump. Both implants require a street cred level of 12, as well as 45,000 eddies to purchase. Personally, I prefer the double jump, as it feels more natural when traversing the environments. Staying in the Kabuki sub-district of Watson, the Ripper Dock, located directly south of the Creek Loop Fast Travel Terminal, will sell you the Epic Lynx Paws, which reduces all sounds you make from any movement by 50%. This implant costs 85,000 eddies to purchase and install. Heading back over to Fingers in Japantown of Westbrook, located near the Mega Building H8 Fast Travel Terminal, is the only Ripper Dock in the entire game who sells the epic version of the fortified ankles for 75,000 eddies. 
So if you really want the hover ability while jumping, then make sure not to punch him in that stupid face during the main story, or you'll be permanently locked out from his store.